Greetings, folks. Today we're going to do a quick intro to components in Power Apps. They're in preview right now. You have to make sure you're in, in a preview environment. And we're going to go ahead and create a blank app. Okay, so first off, you'll notice that components should be right next to the screens and they're not in the insert menu either. They are disabled by default. So just go ahead and go into your app settings, advanced settings, and we start scrolling down, down to the experimental features and all the way down to the very bottom is components. Go ahead and flip that on, come back and there it is. Both the next to the screen and the insert. So go ahead and create a new component. Okay, now we're on our component screen. And we're going to go ahead and rename our component uh, menu component. This is going to be like a simple side menu. And now to add a new custom property. We're just going to go ahead and name this items for the display name, property name, and description. It'll be a input property type and change the data type to table. Okay, we're going to go ahead and set the item now for the property we just created. Change from this long table string, delete all that out, and replace it with item colon quote sample text and close quote. We're going to insert a gallery. And the data source for the gallery, we will set to menu component dot items. I just go ahead and change the border to one and template size to 50. Now we've inserted a label into the gallery. Let's add another custom property. This will be a output and we will call this selected. I'll just go ahead and set that for the display name, property name and description. So now we have one input property and one output property. And we will set in the advanced tab the output will be gallery one selected item okay now we're going to go back to our default screen go ahead and insert the component now We've changed the item property to from sample text to home, admin, about, and help. And let's go ahead and insert a label. And this will be using the output property that we created. We will set it to menu component underscore one selected. And now whatever we select here in our component is displayed in the label. So it's a simple example of a menu component with 
one input property and one output property. 